Environmental Development, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 299. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 299, December 16th, 2018 edition. Uh, One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I'd like to talk about is environmental development, because we hear a lot in the news about environmental destruction, uh, which is definitely happening. Humanity has caused some pretty dramatic changes to our planet. If you look at things like tar sands development, what we're doing in the oceans, the amount of plastic that is in our oceans, there is no shortage of information on the environmental destruction that humanity has uh, wrought upon our planet. But let's talk about environmental development because just as humanity has had a profound impact on this planet that most would argue is negative, uh, we can also have a profound impact on this planet that is very, very positive, regenerative. It can, we can clean up the planet. We can make a difference through permaculture. We now know how to do environmental development positively and permanently for the benefit of all life that interacts with those environments. We can create self-sustaining and self-supporting ecosystems. We can create amazing, beautiful homes that are cohesive with their surrounding environments that are built from sustainable materials that are built with, with sustainable practices and provide a way of living that, that works in cooperation and collaboration with the environment instead of being destructive. And so everything you see happening in the background of this video is our process, our eight year process to build and design, to design, to open source and free share everything necessary to replicate and to construct and demonstrate seven different sustainable village models as well as everything else associated with those models to create a sustainable civilization. And this is environmental development. Environmental development first and foremost for abundant, holistic human lifestyles, but also an outreach program through permaculture and through cooperative and collaborative living to, to reach out to the planet, but also to expand what it is we're doing to include all of the surrounding environment for everything that it is that we create so that we can build environment, so that we can do environmental development, so that we can support environmental development by creating self-sufficient and self-sustaining ecosystems through permaculture, holistic living, and positive environmental practices, best practice. And so this is what One Community is doing. And we are open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary for replication. So we're building, basically what we're creating is an evolution of sustainability. It takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's familiar with, their food, energy, and housing. There are sustainable practices for all of these things that are pretty well known. What we'd like to do is open source and free share those. We might like to make them easier and more affordable through open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to make them permittable so that counties and cities can embrace these ideas and get on board and make them large scale. Also though, we'd like to combine that with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, as highest good education models, as highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all this stuff together to create a way of living that we think most people will consider to be the way, better than the way they're living before. More attractive, more beneficial, more of what people want than the way they're living right now. And so if we can make it all easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And by this idea spreading its own, we will create a self-replicating model for environmental development, for teaching people how to be true stewards of their environment, conscious and conscientious stewards of our environment. And so, this is what one community is doing. We're open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself uh, tutorials and uh, resources necessary for replication of everything that we're creating for environmental development, for permaculture design, for housing design, energy design, 
uh, food production, as well as all the other aspects, the emotional sustainability, the social architecture, the fulfilled living practices, the economic models, the education models, putting all this stuff together to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs that can be built all around the world to teach others how to do this as well. And everything is modular so that people can take individual components and replicate those if they're not interested in the complete teacher demonstration model, or so that people can build the complete teacher demonstration hub and help others to create similar hubs open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing as we go. So we build the global suite, the global collaborative and collective of information that people can use to replicate what it is we're doing to evolve and create even better versions of this, teaching people how much money and how much time and everything that's necessary to replicate it. This is what we're doing. And this is our idea for environmental development. So with that said, here is one week of our all volunteer nonprofit teams project uh, progress working towards environmental development for the highest good of all people in all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. Heyman Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 27th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earth Bank Village. This week's focus was beginning the first round of new nail stress tests. You can see some of this work in progress here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 28th week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bank Village materials and costs. This week, she worked more on the tropical atrium quantities and updated their prices, and she worked on Dome 1 material quantities, added their prices and URL links to purchase. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earth Bank Village. This week, Guy completed two more second generation views of the complete village, both of which you can see here and on the site. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 32nd week helping with render additions. This week, he finished this final Earth Bank Village render showing this view looking south from the tropical atrium entryway. The image is now on the site too. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 34th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he finished the first complete redesigned draft of the support wall and associated instructions. The new design uses less materials and is easier to construct. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bank Village. Here's weekly update 141 from Dean. His focus this week was updating the Murphy bed designs and creating all the different perspectives shown here of these updates. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her second week researching the most sustainable toilet options. This week, she researched sinks that can be added to the back of toilets to recycle hand-washing water and other water-saving toilet accessories. You can see some of this research here. One community is also creating an open-source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplical City Center updates for the Social Dome and the Dining Dome. We changed door opening directions where needed, updated windows on the Dining Dome second floor, raised the Sunrise Patio Deck, redesigned the hexagon windows, redesigned the laundry room door frame details, and updated the Social Dome shell to accommodate the pedestrian door connecting the inside and outside swimming pool area. You can see some of these details here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 108th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was updating all the layers so we can turn lights on and off easily for each zone, and adding the missing lights for the social dome main wall, kitchen, fourth floor, and living dome sunrise patio. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, aubrey -Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their second week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they finalized the direction of the theme, decor, and the general uses for the library, some of which you can see here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, 
Also continued updating the Duplical City Center materials and cost details by fixing the remaining images on the spreadsheet and making minor updates to some of the prices and URLs. You can see some of this work here. And James Hergel, student researcher, also completed his second week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, carpet, and other building materials by finishing his review and note-taking on the LEED Sustainable Building Crediting System. This week's focus was mostly the interior design and construction rating system. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we reviewed our food forest details, created a list of needed edits, and wrote up the initial food forest rollout and materials and equipment needs plan. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team began the process of fixing our database structure and testing our corrections. You can see some of this work here. Emilio Nohera, digital marketer, also continued with his ninth week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for three more of our top-level food-related pages, open source botanical gardens, large-scale soil amendment, and the apiary bee yard. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Schuber Mittal, software delivery manager, Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full-stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team worked on the React version of the component for user and profile management, merged the time log entry component into the Redux branch, worked on more Redux action creators, and looked for potential code tests for the new developers we intend to bring on. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of environmental development for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. If you'd like to leave an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything we've talked about in this video, and so much more, uh, you can visit our written blog or visit our website. Uh, both are a vast wealth of information and uh, open source content. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Uh, also, if you'd like the easiest way to help out, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share this video, share any of our content on social media, or join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, to share our information. Uh, we are on Facebook, we are on Tumblr, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Instagram, uh, Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access and share our information. So join us there if you haven't already. Uh, also, if, uh, well, I guess that's really it. Also, thanks. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for following our progress. Thanks for watching to the end. If you're watching uh, this, you've watched the end of the video. We do appreciate it. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks. <laughs>